Testing for HIV AIDS can be a stressful personal experience and the pandemic is also placing stress on the economy. The impact of HIV AIDS is felt by all stakeholders, including government, the private sector and households. The Health Ministry yesterday announced a 5.9 billion rand ARV drug supply contract to manage the pandemic. We just made the new announcement. Number one, fix those combinations. And we've reduced the prices. It was supposed to cost us 8.1 billion. It's, not going to, it's now going to cost us 5.9 billion South African rents. We have reduced by 38%. And we believe these are the lowest world prices for ARVs. The indirect costs of HIV AIDS are more difficult to pin down. The cost of cancelling and testing 20 uh, million people, as we have done, is very difficult to quantify. But also there are laboratory costs. Each province has got a certain budget which they spend in this national health laboratory service because all of us use the national health laboratory service. That's the public sector. The private sector finds itself in a similar predicament. South African Business Coalition on HIV AIDS CEO Brad Mears was able to benchmark the direct expenditure on the virus, but says the indirect costs, like the loss of human capital, are harder to obtain. Some companies are, are, are costing in three to three to four percent of the cost of their payroll um, to attributable to impacts caused by disease-related from disease-related causes such as HIV, STIs. Traditionally, what's, what's happened is that companies have, have been uh, are not strong enough in the area of monitoring and evaluation. And what makes it even worse now is that you've got these unquantifiable, almost imperceivable impacts of HIV impacting on the productivity of companies. South Africa stands at a critical crossroads as it grapples with the underlying financial impact the virus will have on the economy. These thoughts are echoed by the academic fraternity. The HIV AIDS is this uh, iceberg and you know what you see is not what it is and a lot of it hangs below and what it hangs below is the lag of effect on our on our society so a lot of the deaths are going to still accrue uh, because people are still getting HIV so you know the, the progression of the disease is slowing but those people are sick and dying and that impact is slowly to be felt. We, we, we definitely need to do more work to quantify the various interventions that are cost effective. As you know, the list of interventions is increasing all the time. We must do studies to see whether the health system can afford that and whether it will result in cost savings. While the true cost of HIV AIDS on the economy is difficult to quantify, stakeholders are working together to outline economic models for future generations. Panache Chikmadzi, Johannesburg.